Hi, we are MP, a group of students from Chinese Island Calflex Secondary School in Hong Kong, participating in Open League in Virtual World World Cup Asia Pacific 2020. Last year, our team joined different local and international competitions and got remarkable results, such as the second place in World World Cup Junior Taiwan and the third place in World World Cup China Open. Our training is started in 2018. We learned about using different sensors and programming skills. Last year, our team started to design our PCB module for the soccer robots. Our developed module will be used in this competition for the first time. The usage of PCB has improved our own robotics system. Besides, a lot of new components are used. Some of them involve other programming language like Python, which is not used before. It also improves the performance of our car. To control the robot, the nuclear controller boards must collect data from several Arduino Nano boards. TX and RX pins are first used, but a problem soon occurred, as using this method will block the serial boards. Data cannot be displayed clearly. Therefore, another method was soon adapted. SDA and SCL pins are used to synchronize all data transfers over the I2C bus. With the collection of data from ultrasound and open ME, the robot can have a full understanding of the environment around and adjust to changing circumstances. For better performance, competitive and exciting viewing motors from Zoom Mobile are used. The motors can run up to 1,700 revs per minute, which allow robots to move faster. Also, as the ultrasonic sensor have a detectable range that covers the whole arena, it is used to determine the car's position and can help guide it back to the goal to the back. Open MV is a camera sensor used for searching the ball and the goal. With the micro Python interpreter inserted, we can use Python as the programming language. The programs of machine vision algorithms will be easier. Bluetooth is used for communication between our two robots. They use radio waves and build private networks. Both robots will use Bluetooth to communicate and switch roles and adopt different strategies. GY953 is used at SR Compass. It has a 9 axis motion checking chip integrating gyroscope, accelerometer, and compass, all in 3 axis. It can process the complex motion filter algorithms from the accelerometer and compass, which offer high performance and low power operation. SDM32 nuclear board is used. This board can easily be extended with different modules. Besides, this board integrates a debugger, so there is no need for a separate probe. Screen 1602 with I2C module is used. Using I2C allows us to use the screen much easier. It has backlight power control using the dumper cap. We may switch off the backlight by taking away the dumper. Lastly, grayscale sensor is used to avoid our robots from out of bounds by detecting the white. For the attack part, since the robot cannot find the ball all the time, to search for the ball, it will return to the middle of the arena. Once the robot finds the ball by using the data collected by OpenAMI, the robot will chase the ball with the shortest path. After carrying the ball near the goal, the robot will turn to face the goal by using compass and kick the ball. For the defense part, once the robot finds the ball, it will try to move to the place between the goal and the ball to prevent goal. Yes, the car will not get out of the goal area for providing a better defense. At the end, we hope to join more competitions and improve our skills in the future. To make our innovations more efficient, the module and robot design will be improved. Our final target is to join Robocop 2021 and go for a championship. Our teacher advisor and team coach have helped us a lot. We would like to give our sincere thanks to them, Mr. Watts and Hong Ming. They gave us many suggestions and provided many technical support to us. With lack of experience in building PCB modules, their assistance are very precious. Thank you.